Kempen slides it back into the corner. Yandel and Velarde come together. Roy plays the puck around to Velarde. Centering pass, Burke! Did it go in? It did! Uh, Gabe, you guys have played together before, so uh, when you're reading, uh, do you know that uh, Martin's going to get the control or, you, or a nice little bounce between his uh, legs pass there? You're gauging your speed there as you're... you're in this instance, not really. I'm not really thinking about Marty on the mm -hmm. wall. I'm thinking about just kind of trying to be low and Hoffman there. He does a good job initially covering me and then uh, he goes off uh, a bank pass to Ferky there and Ferky makes a great play to, to me and I'm, I'm under the play so I can get the puck and get in the zone. There's a couple of loose puck battles that are going to come up right yeah. here. I mean, it's not like you have to. Right here, you kind of lose yeah, it. Yeah, lose it on there. I'm just trying to tie up his stick so he can't rim it because I know he's trying to rim it and Juice is coming around. At any time right here, you're not going to go any closer here, right? No, uh, no. I mean, uh, yeah, I got to go stay just if something would have happened. I'm the third guy. I'm just trying to kind of see where the puck is going to pop. And, you know, now Juice had it there and he makes a nice place. Rosie. You're maybe looking for something in the front, but you don't hesitate at all as you peel off to behind the net. Yeah, so I'm looking at Roy's. Roy's obviously not going to get a shot through there. I, when I was skating there, I see Ferky down on the other side. I take a quick peek again there. I see Juice skating away. How difficult is it to pick up the puck, take a look, find the puck, do it all in one motion? Because you do take a peek over your shoulder right there to, to see where the, the next play might be. Yeah, I have to take a look before I get the puck. If I get the puck and then I look, it's probably going to be too late. Yandel's yeah, got a good stick there. He almost gets it with me not doing that. So, again, it's Ferky getting in that open area. It's, uh, if Ferky doesn't go there, there's no play. I knew as soon as Gabe's got the puck down low, that's, that's, the, that's the kind of signal for me to try to find an open spot right in that slot. You know, I knew he was going to go from the first post. There's a, there's a whole place, not just me and Ferky, it's Juice making plays too. I mean, off the cycle there, if you watch the whole shift, I mean, me and Juice are working down low. He's the high guy, so if we do mess up down low and we lose it, uh, Ferky's in a good area to, to be the third guy kind of thing. Royce makes a smart play and just then, by getting it deep. And now Juice is the backup guy. Exactly. The safety, the safety yeah. So a whole shift is a good cycle shift. I mean, that's no the question. stuff that uh, we need to do uh, on a nightly basis to be uh, successful. It's crazy that, like, when you look at it so intently, but the amount of times we've done this drill and with Craig Johnson, Jared Stoll, and these guys just working on this stuff, it's, uh, it's crazy to think about, like, this is the exact play that we work on in, in those development skates and those one-on-one -on -one workouts on the ice with CJ and, and Stoley. Like, this stuff, we work on it for 20 minutes at a time kind of thing, and it pays off, right? Martin Burke getting it under the crossbar. 